we're gonna make this shit look poppin'. Hey, Tasia here. Welcome back to my channel. And if you want to figure out how to get from this bare face, no makeup, to this and actually Snatch have your it. face done with affordable makeup and affordable makeup products and actually have your makeup last because it's like, what's the point of doing all your makeup? And it's like, I want to be able to have affordable makeup. Oh, I want to be able to like, not spend all my clients on makeup. But it's like, mm, it don't last. It look like shit. So I'm gonna show y'all how to make sure your makeup is staying on point and how you're keeping your coins in your pockets. You feel me? Let's dive in. Hey guys, I'm gonna do my eyebrows with my e.l.f. pencil. This pencil is like the most $6. Get you one. I don't know what color, but hmm, I'm sure it's just some kind of brown. I like my eyebrows to look very natural. I don't like them to look all extra out. I just want them to look filled in you feel me and i like to like make sure i like raise my eyebrow to get that make sure it's nice and sharp and then just like brush it in so it's not like a harsh line and then just brush the rest in to keep it like bare in the front you know to make that look very natural like a real eyebrow i like i just put hella makeup on I promise y'all, I'm gonna show y'all how to make yourself look like you have on a full face of natural makeup, but it's a full face and it's all affordable products. Now I'm gonna take my um, NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop and their concealer. What color is this? This is soft beige. I'm gonna take this and, you know, just make a blank canvas on my eyes so I can get my eyeshadow on and make these eyes look popping. If I haven't done my eyebrows and my eyebrows need to be done, I'm going to actually take the time to really like carve out my eyebrows. But if like, I don't have much hair there and they are looking good, eyebrows are bomb. Like I haven't even cleaned my eyebrows up. There's no need to take that extra time to really carve them out. I'm just gonna prep them and go up enough to like really be able to do what I need to do. And that's why I like this concealer too, because the tip of it allows me to be able to do that. Not all concealers will allow for this. Might seem like I'm using a lot, but do you, boo, do you. And one reason why I kind of do is because I like to take the excess concealer that's on here and watch, I'm gonna show you. This is what I like to do. I like to take the excess concealer that I put on my eyes and like work it under my eyeballs themselves because my eyes are fucking see-through. Like you can see my veins. It's just like, it's not fun. So I'm gonna um, bring you guys a little bit in closer so I can show you what I'm doing. Okay, get closer. All up in my face. All right. So I'm going to take the Morphe Forever, Morphe, Morphe Day Slayer palette and I'm going to take the color Forever and then I'm using the Morphe 433 brush. I'm going to pack this color on, you know, in my crease. Y'all know, like, this is kind of my first go-to color and after I pack it on, I just like to, like, blend it in. And then I'm gonna work my way down a little bit and make sure it's nice and good. And I'm just doing really like, mm, I don't know, happy, sad face motions. And then I'll do like some circles on the ends, working my way around, I don't know. I'm not a master blender. I'm just trying to make sure it looks blended, you feel me? And then I'll just make sure both eyes look the same. And then I like to like work my way up a little bit into my eyebrow to make sure that it just looks real seamless and like the rest of the product is kind of blended out. Cool. Feeling that, I'm feeling that. I think that looks good. After the day slayer palette, we're gonna take ASMR. 
I don't like ASMRs, honestly. So we're gonna take the Morphe palette. What is this? Make Life Colorful. Artistry palette. Make Life Colorful Artistry palette. And look at me, I took all my nails off so I can like use my fingers to do my eyeshadow today. And I'm really wanting like a, can I stop doing that? I really want like a blue, a blue look. So, we're gonna do a blue look. There's, I'm gonna use the blue in the palette called Rise Up. Can you better rise up? And I'm just gonna pack this in. It's like I'm not saying what I'm doing until I'm doing it because I don't know what I'm gonna do until I'm doing it, you know? That's the life of being a Gemini, one of the most indecisive female creatures ever. Let me know what sign you guys are in the comments. Go ahead and drop your sign if you're a Gemini. And if you agree with me that we're pretty indecisive and it's really hard to make a definitive decision, go ahead and leave a like. Like, hello. <laughs> Pause before I even get farther into this look. Go ahead and make sure you are subscribed to my channel so that you can see more videos from me, your girl Tasia, and so that you know it just helps me out more. You know, like go ahead and leave a like, leave a comment, tell me how you feel. If you don't like, if you don't agree with what I gotta say, like that's fine too. I'm I'm fine to have a constructive conversation in the comments. Like let's do that. Like we can do that, y'all. Like. I like to talk. I got my degree in communications. Let's go ahead and have a conversation. So now that I got the blue eyeshadow on my eyes and I'm looking like it the clown because I look crazy. So I'm going to take the uh, Morphe E27 brush and I'm going to go into the color Harmony in the same palette, the Artistry Morphe palette. And then I'm just going to stamp that color in to my outer crease area to kind of darken it up and the reason why i'm using the day slayer palette is because they just have this palette is just the best transitions that i want to use so i'm going to go into forever again and then go into the color epic in that palette and then just kind of like enhance this outer area here and then I'm also going to mix Harmony with Truth because Truth is actually matte while Harmony is kind of shimmery and it's not really doing what I want it to do. I don't think any of these colors are doing what I want it to do, honestly. I think I'm just going to like scrap them and like just go back into Rise Up. Well, I know exactly what I just said I'm going to do. So I'm going to kind of just scrap that and go back into Rise Up and just kind of like accentuate the ends of it. Because I really don't want to spend too much time on my eyeshadow. Like, that's one of my problems is I'm really trying to get better at not taking so much time to do my eyeshadow. It's just like I'm blending, 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 blending. And it's like, you know what? Nobody cares. And this blue is like, this is going to stain my eyelids. All right. I think that's, that's looking a little, that's looking much better, much better. Back into that crease color and kind of like just blend these two in together. So it just looks a little more seamless. Feel me? Yeah. Honestly, I never like 100% what my eyeshadow looks like until I have on lashes and foundation. A bare face with eyeshadow. I look like a crazy person. Like, hello? And what am I going to use for my inner corner? kind of want to use a little bit of purple. Do y'all think that was a good idea to like finish that out or did I just mess it up even more? 
feel like at this very moment, I look like I belong in the Avatar movie. Once I finish my foundation, we're gonna make this shit look poppin'. It's my favorite snack, y'all. A little snack. And the foundation that I use for makeup, to make a shit last, like, up to 24 hour fresh wear. I believe it. L'Oreal Infallible and the application of how you apply your makeup matters. It 100% matters. So I love how this has a pump because like, I don't really care to like apply it to my face. I'm just gonna put it on my face. Take my Morphe Y6 like Kabuki brush type of thing. And then you're gonna make sure that you like press it into the skin really like work it in and then make sure the foundation 100 percent like oxidizes and does its thing before you try to like do other things to the foundation you feel me and it's like really like work this brush into your face and like it's like you look like you it's a sponge in a sense that's how you should use your brush you want the makeup to be on your skin. You don't want to just be brushing it around. This, like my face is not, my face is, yeah, your makeup is a canvas, you're doing art, but my face is not a piece of paper, okay? And what I like about this foundation is it's so breathable. Like it's not matte, but it's not 100% dewy. It's like a very like velvety, luminous matte foundation like i don't know this isn't a review so you're gonna have to look up yourself to really find out the texture of foundation but what i could tell you from someone like me who has normal to dry skin this foundation is the truth and then i like to put on a little bit more because I just want that like full full. And honestly, I usually put on way more than I did now. I'm being way modest right now. And this foundation is buildable. It's not gonna look crazy when you put another layer on top. Because some foundations don't allow you to put more on. It's like once you're there, you're there. You're locked in. Nope. This one that allows for more. All right, and one of the things I really hate about blue eyeshadow is that it kind of, I feel like, enhances my under eye, like, problems because my under eyes are already so light and the blue just doesn't help that. Lashes are on. And the lashes I'm wearing are from Eiler. Eiler London lashes. And I actually like bought a pack of three and then cut like the ends of some and then like put them on the very ends to like just add a little extra oomph to the lashes. I think I have big eyes and like I like my lashes to really like not be over dramatic, but really be enough. So get your Eiler lashes from Target, affordable product. Maybelline mascara. I got this from Target. I mean, you can always get this stuff from Ulta too, you know. Uh, excuse me. Uh, excuse me. That was gross. Oh my god! Every time I do my lashes, it just like literally like makes my makes me cry. Like, right, so I'm gonna take the Can't Stop Won't Stop in the color True Soft Beige, like I used before on my eyes, and I'm going to put this right here in these corners to make sure any excess bags are gone and like i said i like to just concentrate the true beige just like right there and then i'll take the no i have to concentrate the soft beige right there and then i'll take the true beige and the next can't stop on stop and then i'll actually use that to really like highlight my face 
kind of like pull my face down in a sense to make sure I get under my creases and my under bags just make sure everything is just looking real seamless. And then I take my e.l.f. sponge and blend this out. I don't like to let the NYX concealer sit too long, honestly, because it dries pretty fast. Pretty, pretty fast. And I don't need it to be drying down like that on my face. And I know this is like, I look so bright right now, especially with this dark eyeshadow on, but I like a bright under eye and we're just gonna make it work. Then I'll take one of my, what is this? Um, I don't know what kind of sponge this is. I don't know what kind of sponge this is. I honestly feel like I haven't done like a true true full face of makeup in a minute i've been fucking on and putting in and all the time then i'll take my foundation brush kind of go over that just so just so i'm feeling like it's real bright because i'm looking real bright up in here and i'm about to use probably like two not affordable products and this is one of them my Fenty Match Fenty Match Stick in the shade Truffle. It's like you use mostly affordable products and blend it in with like some not affordable. And that'll keep you looking bomb. I mean, I'm sure you can find a, a stick that is very much so affordable. That's just what I'm using. So that's what I got. And then I like to make sure when I contour my face, cause the only thing I really use a sponge for is to um, conceal my highlight. But when I contour my face here, I use the brush, but I like act like it's a sponge and really just like buff it in and not like blend it in, make sure I'm not picking up any of that, any product off my face, just making sure everything is just looking real seamless. And then with my side contour, I like to start from the top because I like the bottom to, you know, still be a little bit more cut. And then work it up how I want it. I want the concentration to be here. You feel me? And like I said, that's a Gemini in me. I could change my mind. I could do different things. And that's makeup. You could do different things with it. You could do what you want. You could do something today. You could do something tomorrow. You could switch up your routine. You could switch up how you do it. I could do my whole face and then do my eyeshadow if I want to. But no, I decided to do my eyeshadow first. So you got eyeshadow first. Feel me? And then I'll take the, the butt of the Elf Booty Blender. Elf Sponge. And kind of just like make sure go over this area to make sure I'm nice and seamless. And I really honestly keep going over my mouth because my upper lip be sweating. Like literally it be sweating and there's nothing I can do about it. So we're just going to move on. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my contour. And that, what I like about the Truffle Rihanna contour, it's very like warm. So I'm gonna take like a cooler, what do you call it? Like a cooler bronzer contour color on top of it to really like get that dimension and contrast I'm wanting. You know, after I buff it in, I like, I'll like oh, very ever so lightly blend it in. Not enough to where I'm at, like gonna pick up any product on my face, but just enough to like blend in what I was just patting on. And work my way on my neck, bottom. I wanna make sure my chin, my neck is chiseled. 
and my neck just seems to be lighter so this contrast of like the bronzer on my neck I feel like just like helps give the dimension the way I want it to be and the next technically not affordable found foundation it's not foundation not affordable makeup product I'm going to use is um, Laura Mercier but I like to buy the smaller sorry this is all up in the motherfucking way oh my god I like to buy the smaller powder because it's cheaper and I don't bake my face so there's no need for me to be having like a whole bunch of powder because I'm not gonna use all that powder so might as well buy a small one and then I just like press it in with a damp brush with a brush this is a sponge a damp sponge oh real techniques that's who the sponge is from target real techniques another affordable product hey but what i like about the translucent powder is that it's not too brightening it's just like a setting because i am now going to take the makeup revolution and the banana powder and then i'm going to use that to actually brighten my face and then I'm also going to take that to like set the rest of my face that I didn't powder contour with. You feel me? And then I kind of like to go over the front of my eyebrows a little bit to make sure that that area just looks real like natural and not too makeup-y. Go over mustache area. I sweat on my upper lips so much, it's not even funny. I don't, my whole face will be like, my makeup will be fine, but my upper lip will just be like, as if I didn't put makeup there because it's just like, my face is wet right there. I, I, it's really bothersome. And I'll cut right under here. And that's really crazy how I was just like, you can do your makeup in multiple ways because now that I just realized it, I usually put my powder on my face way before I powder my contour. But I thought that I would be all the way around just now. Mm. And I didn't even notice till it came to me powdering the sides of my face. That's crazy. Oh, and I didn't tell you guys this brush. This is my Morphe R2 brush. I like this because it's like nice and big and fluffy, but it's not too fluffy to where your makeup is like gonna look a mess. It's gonna look like chiseled enough, but like blown out enough, you know? And then if I feel like I really need my makeup to look blended in a sense, I'll take my foundation brush and blend in and like i'll just blend it i'll just like go over areas i feel it needs to go over i like to do this to my nose because it helps contour my nose without contouring my nose i don't want it to look too extra out i just want it to look like you know i don't know I just take the excess products on things and use that to contour my nose so that it looks contoured but not too intense. Looking good, looking good, looking good. Use that to highlight my brow bone above my brow a little bit. Just kind of this whole area. I am going to take the Kylie Burgundy palette, the orange and like burgundy that's in the palette. What is it called? It's Penny and I think it's Penny. Oops, soon it's Penny. Penny and Burgundy in the palette, and I like to mix those together because I feel like it's a nice. It's like pink enough, red enough, but orange enough. 
make sure you put that blush on your nose i like to blush make my blush go all the way up to really look real sun-kissed and seamless i kind of just like blend it in everywhere afterwards kind of and then after i put on the blush and i like to go in with my fenty beauty trophy wife and then kind of just like take a hint of that on the tips of my highlight to just emphasize my highlight, you know? And then now I'm going to take some of this NYX, like, Ultra Pearl Fairy Dust and put that in my inner corners as well as on my nose. And this is just like an e.l.f. It's actually a blending eye brush, but I like to use it just for like, what I like to use it for. And one of the reasons I like to wear under eye shadow is because I feel like I have, um, what do you call it? Like really bad creases in my eyes and eye bags. And I feel like the color kind of like, makes the illusion that that's not there. I know some people don't like wearing color under their eyes, but it helps me out. And then I'm gonna take the Maybelline Colossal Mascara. All right, eyes and face are zizi zen. Is this light like too bright? Is that better for you guys? Like the whole time I've just been like bright as fuck. Whatever, I like to be bright. Shine bright, shine bright. I don't know the words. Be a star. I have the door open. Huh? Oh, I opened the door. <laughs> like, why is the door open? Because I opened it. This is the um, Kylie. True Brown K lip liner, and then the NYX Mauve, I think it is. Yeah, NYX Mauve lip liner. And then I like to just blend those two together because I feel like it's just the best, one of my favorite like lip liner combinations. I'm really debating if I wanna just keep it matte because I haven't done that in a minute. Or just put some lip gloss on top of it. I put a little liner on top. Shh, it's back. Wouldn't be classified as affordable makeup, but it's not unaff unaffordable. I think I like this. I think I like this. Yes. Put on some of my Morphe setting spray. good all right y'all look is complete makeup is done hair is pulled out of the ponytail you know feeling pretty fly so yeah this is the this is the finished look thank you so much for watching my channel and um you know just like being here with me and letting me tell you how to make sure that your affordable makeup is like on point you want to save your money you don't you want to make sure that you're able to have a look that is going to last all night all day and you know you don't have to break the banks to do it like you still have a lot of money in your pockets like go to ulta go to target shit even go to walmart and get you some makeup and you'll be looking bomb like this is a finished look i should have got some eyebrow gel but that's besides the point i'm still here i'm that bitch everybody knows it yes yeah, thank you so much for watching my channel with me um make sure that you subscribe like comment Make sure you click that bell so you know exactly when I'm posting videos, you're gonna be notified because I am trying to be, like I said, I'm trying to be all up in your life. I'm trying to be with you. I'm trying to know what to do. I'm trying to be on the late night rendezvous. Like I wanna be with you.
so make sure you subscribe to my channel thank you so much guys love you so much bye